she is holidaying among a whole host of stars for her festive break in the Caribbean. But Kimberly Garner ensured she was at the center of attention when she took a sun-drenched stroll on New Year's Day in Barbados on Monday. The former maid in Chelsea star, 27, ensured all eyes were well and truly on her cleavage by hanging her sexy shades on her bikini top. Leaning on a nearby cushion, Kimberly cheekily flaunted her peachy posterior in a thong style bottoms of the bikini. The scanty two piece featured 18 karat gold plated pendants to catch glimmers of the Caribbean sunshine, a trademark style of her swimsuit line Kimberly London. Scraping her golden tresses into a bun, the reality star looked positively glowing as she touched up her youthful features with a shade of pink lipstick. Stunning Kimberly has been giving her 84,000 Instagram followers an insight into her sun-drenched holiday. On Tuesday, the beauty shared a slew of photographs of the very same bikini effortlessly showcasing her impeccable figure. Kimberly looked incredible in her low-cut bikini top that effortlessly accentuated her figure. The eye-catching model paired a racy top with tiny bikini bottoms and let her leggy frame do all the talking. In the next tropical snap, the blonde beauty ventured from the cabanas to the ocean, where she showcased her Jim Hone fizzy by playfully lifting her bikini bottoms. Kimberly hasn't slowed down since leaving the hitty for reality show as she has immersed herself into swimwear sphere in recent years. Of her designs, she explained to Mail in Line, I have some really cool new designs coming out over the next few months which I am excited about. They are still all made in London, which is really important to me. I love being a young female running a startup. The star proudly ensures all the pieces in her self-titled swimwear range are made in England, and the Italian fabric is hand-cut in London, a luxury touch to help her designs stand out in the market. I designed this year's swimwear collection all around the island, with tropical-inspired hand-drawn prints, she added, 